Yes, I welcome to At the Controls. I'm your host, Rainbird. 107.5 WRUU FM. And this is Carlton on the Shoes with a song called Love to Share. Speaking of which, we got an amazing show for you today. The views expressed are my own and none of this station. 107.5 WRUU FM. Carlton on the shoes, a tune called Love to Share. And this is Anthony Ellis, a tune called I Am the Ruler.
Back again with another amazing guest, you know. Who no wouldn't believe how they're in the room right now? Who no wouldn't believe? Please, sir, can you can you please introduce yourself? Because I can't I can't do this man justice. Who is in the room? I don't know if I can do myself justice either, but anyway, greetings and love. I'm Stephen Catcore of Third World, and it's a pleasure to join him. Yes, man. Who no mean? Yes, but Stephen Catcore of Third World. Because guess what going on this weekend? We have an amazing festival going down in Atlanta, you know, the B Reggae Festival down in Piedmont Park. And Third World will be there headlining this event, you know, on Sunday. That's when you guys play on Sunday? Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it's a three day festival, so make sure to come over on Friday, you know. So, yes, man, we're going. Here for talking to the legend man again thank you again for your time man for, for, for joining us here today okay great yeah, man. the 50th year this is your 50th year's anniversary of y'all's playing together yeah wow is that um professionally or or because I feel like there's two dates you know. There's a dates where everybody know, and there's a dates where the band was together and they were grinding before it got mainstream. So that 50 years, what that encapsulates, is that just the 50 years mainstream, or is that 50 years total that everybody so been together? You could, it, you could say it's 50 years total because really, I mean, the band really from 1973. Um, as I was telling someone recently, we were one of the first groups to approach a bank to borrow money to start a bank. That was never done in those days. And, you know, some people who did, the government had a progressive look and um, we had a Michael Manley. And, you know, um, there, was a, there was an institution Called the Workers Bank, and that bank was, I guess, the idea, regardless of how successful it was, the idea of it was to be more people friendly in terms of lending money, in terms of what kind of um, projects they did. And Third World approached them, and we got some some funding to start the bank, and um, and that was in '73, and then. We we were we were playing you know we were playing in hotels and stuff around and we we had a we had a a, a gig at the Flamingo Hotel on August sixth, um, nineteen seventy three, and that was the one in which we really that's our benchmark gig where we started, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, but we had we had done some experimental things. We had 
done one and two little gigs out there testing the waters and stuff but August 6th is our benchmark as to when we really started and you know we went from there and we went on to play Holiday Inn, we play out in a carousel out there. We used to go to Montego Bay every weekend and play and uh, you know because we had the tourist attraction um, we had we had a different we had different kind of crowds crowds that were more suitable to what we were doing and um, you know we were doing quite a bit of covers but we were also doing stuff like solos guitar solos and keyboard solos and harmonies different kind of harmony singing and we were we had a different approach to how we did our thing so it was more suitable at that time to go on the North Coast to play for, you know, that whole tourism product and mix it in with Jamaicans. And, um, well, Jamaicans first and then, of course, because it's on the North Coast, you had a lot of tourists and visitors who were there. Um, that sort of launched us into a feeling of, you know, being more than just a band that's just playing, launched us into being what we know are, which is an act. We're not really a band, we're an act. We are a, we're a professional act. We could go, we can play in Las Vegas, we can play anywhere in the world right now with what we do on stage. We do a show, we do a presentation. We do a presentation and, um, and once we got that straight in our head that that's what we wanted to do, we, we kind of, you know, we kind of found where we were going. And um, we got an opportunity to go to England um 1974 and um we took the opportunity i went and um we did some amount of good work um we got a chance to open up for bob marley in 75 um at the lyceum in london and that was another that was another benchmark for us because that really launched us internationally with playing in front of that crowd in london was it was a very good look for us in terms of that it, it gave us more gigs in the English area, more gigs in London, more gigs in Manchester, more gigs in Birmingham. And, um, you know, from there, we got a record deal with Ireland. And uh, when we got the record deal with Ireland, we really started to um, to blossom, you know, and that would have been the closest, I think, that we'd be, we would have been with Bob was at that time. Because because we had done the we had done the shows with him, and uh, and we were recording in with the same record label that he was on. But of course, at that time, Bob was out there now. Bob had gone out to California and was making big big impact out there, playing for with, before Slam Family Stone and stuff and. Um, we, we stayed in England and recorded our first album, um, Third World. So while that was happening in Bob and Dad's side of the world, we were recording our first effort, which was Third World, uh, the Green Album. And, you know, we came home, we came home that Christmas. And um, <clears throat> we, um, we performed with the Jackson 5. And um, that was another pivotal moment for us. We, we performed with the Jackson Five um, right before, right before we went to England. We performed with Jack. And when we came home after that Bob Marley trip, we came home. We did the Stevie Wonder show at the stadium. Um, Stevie Wonder and Bob Marley, and that was another pivotal moment for us because we really got to show Jamaicans, particularly Kingstonians, just where we were really at. You know, Kingston people both say already, so. Yeah. You can't go upon them soft, you have to go hard. No, they will buckle you for a stage. <laughs> that is no joke. That is no joke. Yeah, right. so that was... That was and Bob Marley. Yeah, that was another... World. Yeah, that That's was a show. show man. Yeah, man, that was a show, man. So we were, you know, we were grateful that we really had those opportunities. Yeah. But 
realize to that the hard work and effort that we put in because we were also one of the first bands that took themselves and went to the country and locked up in a house down in St. Mary for a long time. Um, just honing our skills and making sure that we come, we come good. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was before the Jackson Pipe show we did that. And um, it's right around the time my mother passed away actually because my mom passed just a couple of days before the Jackson Pipe show. So, you know, it was like... Yeah, man, hear more of our interview on YouTube. Rocky, keep the vibes going though, you know. And I think you're going to really like that tune, you know. This is Philip Fraser, a tune called... No Malice Machalis. 107.5 WRUUFM. No malice the challenge. Some smoke it in a palace. No malice the challenge. Some smoke it in a palace. Here's a tune called Normalis Machalis. And this is a Mighty Diamonds with a tune called Tonight I'm Gonna Take It Easy. Watch I know. Tonight I'm gonna take it easy.
Take it easy. One, two, and this is Third World with a tune called Feel a Little Better. So make sure to come out to Atlanta, Piedmont Park. Third World will be headlining on Sunday. They're going to be going on early at 7.30, so to make sure to come early. Soul Rising will be playing before them, and DJ Rasaima will be opening up. On a minute, I go late. Yeah, surely we'll be there representing the BRU. My music is so divine, it can make you feel a little better now. Stay with me all night, I rock you one time. Come on, come on, come on, I wanna make you feel a little better now.
a tune called Feel a Little Better. And now it's time for some Coco Tea. A tune called Now nah, Give Up. Long time I've been trying. Oh, long time I've been trying. Tune called Now nah, Give right, Up. Hey. Long time me a try me now give up for your love. Long time me a try me now give up. by listeners it's today welcome back to at the control and this is third world with a tune called try ja love Sensei, he's 
shall find I've been with you through all time And the first thing I will quit you with my love And if you're hungry I will feed you with my word And all I ask of you is that you love as I Try your love by third world. And now we're gonna have another guest. Gentlemen, 
welcome to at the controls and me have a rotted guest in the studio for you today you know tanto metro and devante in the bridging yo man let me explain who them bridgings here are you know if you don't know who tanto metro and devante is you know you see them money the money did run jamaica music scene and you know if you did in high school and you was a gallus and you never know no tanto metro tune one you gonna get beat up because i lie i tell you know what I'm going to say? And we're going to play some of the music and just play and just vibe out the place. This weekend, I'm going to be playing in Atlanta, at the Atlanta Reggae in the Park in a bridge. So, yeah, man, we're feeling good. So, I want to say, big up on yourself, man. We're there, man. We're there in the building, man. Huh? Yeah, man. It's you know? such yeah, man, a man. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us here, you know? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, so, man. Where where do we even start? <laughs> we can start we can start right here, so we're there today, you know. Just to let the mm. people know say so we're still in the building. We're still doing it. You understand? Yeah man. It, it's been how long now that y'all have been in the game? Um twenty six years? We have a chop, we have a chop little bit more than that, still, you know. Me do individually, from, from, yeah, individually, me I do it from in the eighties, you know, in the mid eighties, you know. Yeah. I, I, I touch, me touch a scene around. Professionally, I touch a scene around. Yeah, this nine year six. Wow, man. DJ Pam Metro me that sound, you know. So you know the yeah. great Peter Metro. I, I took me under his swings and as a little apprentice at the time. So he came just carry me through the, the channel of the the dance hall era. You know, when we had DJ on sound sound system. So that's where I really started. So we yeah, we gone way past the set twenty six. <laughs> wow man. Wow, that's some Yeah, yeah. Cause I've been doing it from about fourteen, so you know. Yeah, yeah well, yes, I started way back in about. I mean, I tell you, I mean, from from high school days, you know. So uh, that's that's how it started. So it's been a while, <laughs> quite a few years, you know, to take it to this. Uh, but. There was not a taxi cab in a Kingston, not a Juta bus, nowhere where you were not hearing these two artists, you know, way before. America and the billboards and all of these things, you know, Richard. You know what I say? So, yeah. Yeah. So, can you talk to me about some of that as an artist coming up um, in the 80s? Some of the challenges one of the one of the deal with and how to the defeat them? Because honestly, you two are probably like the the greatest example of marketing. You know, and how for really um, putting herself out in a real gorilla kind of way. Well, coming up in well, um, you want, you want, you want to do it, singing? <laughs> no man, go on talk, man, go on talk. Uh, well, coming up in the eighties, you know, it was much challenge that much because I, you know, I was a kid and you know, me had a little baby, so the man always want to carry me all over the place and try to expose me to the music. You know, so I didn't really have, it was just fun at the time. It wasn't much challenge. You know, the, 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 only, only Peter Mitchell and the great, you know, um, top artists them was more the challenge to them, to, to them one another. Because you don't have sound clash and everybody have to have the up to the A game at the time. But me now, you know, I was just a learner, you know, <laughs> growing up as a kid back in the 80s I come up there was never much challenge you know, just, I was just peer fun peer fun yeah. well for me personally um, there were challenges you know I, I started singing from a virgin sound system you know, you know too young you would see him see him age you know he had a sound system while we were in high school and you know everywhere the sound went I'd either sing and I'd go there to sing to perform rather yeah. But after leaving high school, then there comes the, the, the challenges of going to get audition done. Even though, whenever I, wherever I went to do an audition, I would have been accepted immediately. You know, they would have said, "You're a professional singer. You're, you're not supposed to be doing audition, but you still have to go through that channel, so just for them to acknowledge you." So it was a little bit, you know, 
of, of a task and then as you know you never just get the break you still have the listeners who have to listen to and give you the pass or the go ahead you know you were accepted by the producers because as soon as soon as they hear you you're accepted but you have to you have the wider audience to deal with it so therefore yeah. It is a task coming up until you get that break, you know. So we have seen it. As Tante said, it might have been a bit easier. Not many challenges at the time, but there were one and few obstacles that we had to cross as solar acts coming up. So it, 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 it's just part of the journey for us. And we, as I said, we give thanks for every step of the way. Yeah, for real, give thanks, man. And talk to me about um, Shocking Vibes Crew, that era. Oh, Shocking Vibes Crew. <laughs> uh, Shocking Vibes Crew. Shocking Vibes Crew is 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 from in the in the late eighties. Yeah, you know, I'm, I I want to get a joke in here. <laughs> I am the one who really come for the name Jackie Vice back then. The people don't oh, yeah. even know that. Yeah. Because oh, me and Pat- oh, go. Yeah, because Tell the story. What really happened now is Patrick Patrick Robert and me, we, we have come from, 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 from school days. Because we, we know each other from teenager days. You see me I say? So um when Patrick decides to uh, like the music and he want to get involved with the product for the um the producing part, you know, in um Little Kirk was there. Beanie was there, but Beanie wasn't just stable. Beanie all over. You know, he just come on yeah. full of vibes and gone. Because normally a Poyat Street, a, a Craig Town, the BS there. You know, that's yeah. where Patrick really BS out. So we always down there and, you know, we hang out and play ball and just lime out as little kids still. So when him come into the business, so him say, wow, you know, produce and things. So he want a name. So just by talking and talking one night, you sit down on the, the, the sidewalk and that name come up. <laughs> that name come up, yeah. So that that's where the shocking vibes come up, and that's where Little Kirk start recording. Cause it was, I think, the first produce, the first produce song Patrick produced was Little Kirk at the time. Come on, hear the rest of the interview up on YouTube. Judgment, and what I tell 
Man says that with a tune called Why Should I? Rainbird and the country. I'm down to the root. Now let's up on the vibes. Granix yeah. with a tune called Perfect Tree. Rock me nice and easy, rock me nice and slow. In the early morning, I you turn me on so let the good times roll. Said them try to separate me. Me no wanna crack for smoke. Give me the item in my brain. I let it get light up in my dome. I know me yellow one. Steam in the sense every time. I know me yellow one burning every time. Oh, I said, fit, give me the highest grade. I beg you, oh, it's the perfect tree. Spliff now below And the idle steamers and a chill up This will make a second and cease and a fish it down Upon the cool concrete you a fill it down Ease out As a beginner man start Just a sip up and cough and a grin up and laugh Steam chalice and a jolting and a smoking We promoting the lungs them free of all charges But we have to big up all smoke The same way we smoking chicken and this no smoke No crave nay No take no crack for we brain crash landing Mayday, mayday when my purple A's dead I'm an organic No, no high grade what kind of touch of this You know see the whole world demand chronic Office supply so we planting it I grade never hurt nobody Let herb be free from the earth No daddy Exercise your brain and work your body Right beside the station burning Cali Go can I can I can I can I this? And if I know I'm under, then you can't get none of this. One job from the split fit of me, it cut us solid. And the tall is italic, can it tally, can it tally? I feel run the get a sip for me, sick, come me sick. Not how bad we just so we have a sweet and so what if it's on a ten and a half for up our grave that's where we are blazing beds all when the sun blazing up. My cash money, I dig up the ganja for my plant, the mark, my barn, I keep my nerves, then for my breeze, I blow one brain, I jump. Make a need my dough, make a need I jump, we stay relaxed. And a tea tattoo, and a fee five, four, fee gate, me props, when we are on it, link up, scary we frost, and we no scared, and no male, nor no lady cops. Roll the rhythm like a rizzle, and then blaze the chop, and boy. See him so we blaze the chop. Come make a blaze up the chop like sativa. Make a blaze up the chop like sativa. Run go to East and send go call Isa. McGregor go live rock and come in ya. We don't jet percent of cheese sweets and similia. We don't need no riz laugh and light up with steamer. Grandma ask come my herbs when so sweet. Cash in her smell no smoke just the scent of the greens. You just says the herb then repent of your sins. You just says the herb then repent of your sins. Father God I go give you what Be tender, for all the ones that we are locked up in a prison. Oh, lock them up for no reason. Still be planting herb for all season. Autumn, winter, summer, spring. I'm in a tiny bag of long talking. Well, I'm often put back on it and we ride the rhythm. Grab up the microphone and me say what I sing. I know said them a rap, but Jaja knows them a sing. I know said them a prince, but Jaja knows them a king. Teflon a veteran, they know them a be one a thing. Them and they have the carpet, we call him a lady. Float down in the sky and no crash landing. Well, I'm often put back on it and no crash landing. What's my herb a different something?
you shame me so I miss this more than why you think my mama gave me so Cause I just don't draw the line I know you want to go I know you are figo. Yeah, I've got news. 